Hey guys, Jessica, the Brain Family Coach, and in this video, we're gonna teach your dog how to shake. <laughs> So in this video, I told you we're going to teach our dogs how to shake, not dance though. <laughs> in this video, we're going to teach our dogs how to shake their paw. So let's get Kim in the frame. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to start out using some training treats. And if you are a clicker trainer, I'm going to tell you when we're going to use the clicker. But um, Kim doesn't like the clicker, so I don't use it. Um, and it's really important to make sure that we are um, aware of the things our dogs do and don't like and we try to accommodate them whenever possible because really, I mean, it's just an annoying noise to her. She doesn't like it. It's loud. She doesn't like loud noises. So, I mean, imagine if somebody just came up and like ran their nails down a chalkboard constantly and even though you were like telling them you didn't like it, they still kept doing it. You wouldn't really care for that, would you, right? So we're not gonna do that to Kim. I'm not gonna use a clicker, but I will tell you when you can use a clicker if you're one of those people who like to clicker train. So we're gonna start with some training treats. And I bought, brought the bag just so I could show you. Um, this is one of my favorite brands if you buy training treats. Um, you can also make your own training treats, but if you buy them, Vital Essentials is one of my favorite brands. I can put a link below so you can see some of their products. For this particular video, we're gonna try out the Beef Nibs. Um, I really like this company because they use real food <laughs> to try to, to make their treats. So we're just gonna start out with some treats. Now, when we teach our dog to shake, you're sleeping, good girl. You never ever wanna just grab a hold of their paw. You don't ever wanna do that. First off, they haven't consented to that. Like they haven't said, yes, it's okay for you to grab my paw, but also they're not gonna learn anything that way. If we just take their paw in our hand, the only thing they're gonna learn eventually, if you continue to do that, is that, oh, if I let them grab my paw, then I get a treat. They're not gonna learn how to shake. Now, learning how to shake, I just threw a treat. Go sweepy. Good girl. So learning how to shake is really not a skill that you may foresee needing um, like in an emergency situation or anything like that. But understand that even though this is just a novelty um, that we're teaching our dog, any chance we get to interact and train with our dogs is a bonding experience and we want to treat it as a bonding experience. We want to make it happy and upbeat and we want to make sure that our dog is enjoying the time that they're spending. They're working their brains which is another reason why we're not just going to grab their paw because we want them to, to process and learn and use their brain um, really is one of the best things we can do for our dogs. So what we're going to do, I've told you what we're not going to do, what we're going to do is, I'm going to get Kim up, up. What I want to do is use the training treats to get her to voluntarily move one of her, her front paws. And if she even pulls it up slightly up off the ground, I'm going to reward her for that. So let's give it a try. Yes, good girl. Now I'm not saying shake yet, which ultimately when I want her to learn shake means give me her paw. But I want to get her to start pulling her paw up off of the ground and getting a reward for it. And I want her to be pretty consistent with that before I start giving her the cue of shake. Now, if you were using a clicker, where I said yes, you would have clicked. So as soon as the paw comes up off the ground, and this can be right or left, it, either one is fine. We're just, this is just a novelty that we're doing right now. Either one is fine. As soon as that paw comes up off the ground, even a little bit, click, you'll hear, hear me say yes. This is where you can click, and then we'll give them a treat. Yes. Good girl. 
So she did lift her paw up on her own. She keeps doing her left paw, and that's fine by me. So I don't really want her to do both paws like she's doing because that's that's more of a of a standing up, and I want to be able to shake one of her paws, and you can't do that if both of her paws are off the ground. Yes, good girl. So now I'm going to start incorporating actually touching her paw when I'm giving her the treat because I really want her to get used to me touching the paw because that's ultimately what I want to do, right? I want her to put her paw in my hand, which means her paw has to touch my hand. Yes, good girl. Now, most dogs, for most dogs, this is gonna go really quickly. They're gonna start associating lifting that paw off of the ground and you touching their paw with them getting a treat. Um, I will say for some dogs, it's going to take a little bit longer, and that's okay. Um, some dogs really don't like to have their paws touched, and so this is one of those things that we can do to help them start learning that it's okay if we do touch their paws. Um, but what we're going to do is only train for about three to five minutes. That's about the max that I want you to train in any one session. Then we're going to take a break. 45 minutes, an hour, and then we can we can go back to it. After 45 minutes or an hour have passed, the next time we think about it, we can go back to it and start training again for another three to five minutes as I'm throwing training treats around. So let's try this one more time. Yes, good girl. So she was a little bit easier letting me touch her paw. She, she wasn't quite so, oh my goodness, what are you doing touching my paw that time, which is good, we want that. Yes, good girl. I held her paw for a little bit longer that time. Really good progress already, and we're just starting. I have not trained Kim to do this prior to this video. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Mwah. So, what we're gonna do is just keep doing this over and over again. And as she gets the hang of it, as she starts understanding when that treat comes up and I grab her, I, I'm, I'm not really grabbing her paw yet. I'm just barely putting the back, putting the hand, putting my hand on the back of her paw, just so she can feel it. And she's getting more and more comfortable with it. This is a really good thing. So I'm gonna come back in just a second. We're gonna do another three to five minutes of training and see how far we get. All right, guys, so it's been a couple of hours and let's see if I can get Kim in position. Over here. All right, so what we want to do is continue where we left off using the treat to just gently hold it, hold it just above. Yes, good girl. So you'll see that I was holding the treat just above her nose and her paw came up off the ground. I gently put my hand right up behind her paw, just barely touched it. I said yes and then I give her some love and some praise. Now, when I said yes, that's when you can use the clicker. So we're just gonna continue this over and over, and the more consistent she becomes with lifting her paw up when I put the treat in front of her, I'm gonna start saying shake when I touch the back of her paw. Shake. Yes, good girl. So I give her a lot of love and praise too because I don't just like to use treats. I want to really reinforce it. And this again is a bonding experience. So why not make it super fun for her? Shake. No. Okay. See, she was a little iffy about it, so I don't wanna I don't wanna encourage that too much. I want her to be confident. I don't want her to be iffy. because we don't want her fresh we want we don't want the dog frustrated whether it's a boy or a girl I said she because Kim is a she 
Um, we don't want the dog frustrated. We don't want to get frustrated either. This is a fun bonding experience and we just want to keep it light and fun and so three to five minutes at a time is all we need and really guys dogs will learn this very quickly say shake and she lifts up her hand and touches her paw and that guys is how you teach your dog to shake so I'm gonna give him another little treat just to say thank you for being such a wonderful assistant in our video today um, if you are not part of the group please go ahead and join it's the train positive group I will put a link for you to join it and you can join and we can share our photos and ask questions it's all about positive dog training and using positive methods in dog training. So give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and click that little bell and subscribe to my channel. That way you can get notified every time I post a new video. And with that guys, I will see you in the next video.